That's his SOS. Ooh! Ooh! A window! The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Yeah. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. We the team, Clam. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Well, what do what you do see? you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Oh. Well, good job. Well, I'll be damned. Good job. You okay? Uh-huh. Let's go. Be careful. I'm right. supposed to tell you that. <laughs> you too. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Um... I'll prop it open with my weapon. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Hmm. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. They didn't have much business back then. There's some space up there, but... Not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Okay, yeah, Clemmy. Let's get you up there. I hate that I have you to do okay this with her, but... You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> okay. Go okay, on and keep grab the keys, saving on me and it makes me nervous. Come on. Scoot. Behind you. Behind you! Fuck! <laughs> 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 Oh god. Oh god, Clem. Clem, I need your help. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh shit. Keys, now! And it just makes me angry. Alright. Let's do this proper now. You're fine, Clem. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Every time I moved to where it was, it moved again and it was like, ugh. Keys! Now! Damn it, it's locked! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab the case. There we go. Phew! <sighs> God damn. That 
didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? It was stupid. You think? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. We're getting used to working together. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Swear to God, if we get another Lily on our hands, I just my, my mind can't take. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Exactly. You just gotta not be scared. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We'll be okay. Is there anything else in here? Well, we got the blowtorch. That's what's really important. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Okay. Hi, girls. Hey. Sup? We were trying to get used to being on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two. Not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers. And you shouldn't either. It's not that bad. But I understand what you're saying because... We had a lot of people, and there were a lot of cracks as a result. Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Um, I don't know. Could be dangerous. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. We got tape. Hope this holds. Should be alright. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh shit. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go.
Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. I can't reach it now. Hmm. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh dear. We got a lot of company. Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omid! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Kenny, go! Shit! What the hell do we do now? Hope to God this works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! We got it, dude. Come on. Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Ah! <gasps> Shit! Oh, no, 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 no. Run! Shit, 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 come on! Oh, you mean I gotta pick one? Run! I don't wanna pick one. Uh. Oh, Mead! You son of a bitch, save him! Oh, Mead! I'm a, I know I had to pick one of you, and I'm sorry! Oh, good! <sighs> Oh my god, I thought the game was gonna do one of those dick moves again. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Whew. Oh my gosh. Was intense. Yeah, I seriously thought that that I was going to have to pick one. Gosh, I know what that's a picture of. Oh. Next that's stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. I hope so. It's gotten too bad, you know? You, me, nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What? Wait for you to get to 
Savannah Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. Oh, wow. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Don't know who it is, but I don't think they have her parents. I think her parents are dead. And this guy's just using it as incentive. We're almost at the river. You wanna get on a boat? Or you wanna wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Cloud. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! I would- I want to know what's going on! I got- uh, I want to know. Uh, uh, okay, so I did finally get through. And and I did it. I did it all in one sitting. I cannot believe I got through all this whole chapter in one sitting. I'm proud of myself for that, but oh my god, my heart. Ugh. I can't believe 44 people didn't help me. I know I was one of them, but mm, I guess a lot of people may have made the same assumption that I did because it had been a while without one of those either or choices. Yeah. That's a lot of people who didn't shoot that girl. Huh. I'm not surprised that we didn't. That there were so many people that did not um, leave Kenny to shoot Duck. Because that's just... God, the man already lost his wife and now you're forcing him to shoot his child. You can't do that. Okay, so, let's see. Thoughts on that episode are holy shit, holy shit, and holy shit. I'm... There was a lot of crying. I'm gonna, just in case you didn't pay enough attention to clearly hear me crying, I was crying because Doug. And because Katja and Doug and just, ah. Oh. Okay, the Doug thing I was so sad about, and then to find out that Ben did it, it was just like, Doug was like my favorite character. How could you do that? I, I don't. Uh, it just, it's just ridiculous. The man was naive, and he thought that they had his friend, and they didn't, and it's, how could you be that stupid? And I'm sorry, Ben, but... Jeez. And then you got Duck and Katja and it's just like I know me and Kenny didn't always see eye to eye and lately it's been a lot of bickering back and forth and just but even still I'm I tr I'm trying so hard to keep in mind that the man lost his wife and his son in probably one of the worst ways imaginable. And I gotta keep that in mind and I gotta not I gotta not get angry at him and yell at him because a lot of what he's feeling and a lot of what he is expressing and projecting onto other people is him trying to cope with that. So I need to really keep that in mind. But anyway, 
that's it for chapter three of the, well, episode three, I should say. I don't know why I said chapter, but anyway. Episode three of The Walking Dead, and next time we will do episode four. And looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. I wonder who the guy on the on the other end of the walkie-talkie is, and if he really does have Clem's parents and all that stuff, so... Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, thanks everybody for watching. I know it's been a crazy ride. Forgive all of my sappy crying. This game is just getting to me and Doug! I knew Doug. Why? Got to why? It's always the good ones! It's always the good ones who aren't going, like, completely batshit insane from everything. <sighs> it's always the timid ones. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.